Hey everybody, as you can see, it's two guys with three things. Wes, you are up. Larry the Green Bay Packers looking for some help on offense, and it is going to have to come from within, especially at the skill positions. But listening to Aaron Rodgers talk on Wednesday, he mentioned the hope being that Alan Lazard potentially gets back here soon enough, was practicing on Wednesday. Christian Watson potentially being all right with that concussion, and maybe sometime in the next few weeks getting Randall Cobb. Improvement must come from within with that. And Rodgers, despite everything that's been working against Green Bay so far, feeling good about their options once those options are finally healthy. Well put, Wes, and I gotta tell you folks, do not take the Lions lightly. I know they are one and six, but offensively, they're top five in yardage, top 10 in scoring. Defensively, they're in the pits. They're dead last at everything. But when you watch them on tape, you look at them and say, this is a real deal football team and you better take them serious. I certainly hope the combatants do, and just as the onlookers, we got to take them serious too because you got to go over there and be ready to play. Absolutely. What else, Wes? Well, wrapping it up with Chris Barnes returning to practice on Wednesday. Now, that opens up the window being designated to return from injured reserves, so we're not sure whether or not he'll be available for Sunday. Devondre Campbell not practicing with the knee. But Barnes is a guy to keep an eye on, Larry, because if you go back to week one against Minnesota, I know all the eyes were on Quay Walker getting drafted here and was going to be the guy with, with Campbell, but they still were working Barnes into those packages. They had almost like a 4-3 type front they ran in that game. Depending on what happens with Campbell and depending on what happens moving forward, that's a lot of experience in Barnes, a guy that knows this system and has a lot of familiarity with those defensive players. Chris has a lot of pop in his tackle, and that is two guys with three things. See you next time.